Hey guys, Wayne here from Ugly Shield Removal. Today's pretty special day. We're talking about the 3M removal off your coach. And uh, we did the videos on the Diamond Shield removal, but today it's all about 3M and the differences. So let's go. All right guys, here we go. Got an ugly 3M shield. Now one thing cool about this series of videos, the first three videos with the diamond shield, everything's the same. The scraper, the sandpaper, the preparation, the testing of the area before you start. But we're just gonna get started in the removal and the differences of 3M versus diamond shield. 3M film, 2002 to 2006. This film cracks, it does get the mold. It's gonna make a bigger mess because these pieces are just gonna fall off like that but you do need the heat gun with the 3M removal. We like these little iron tongs from Northern, got about 20 of them. If you're careful and slow and use this and respect this heat gun, you're not gonna hurt the paint. Now the one thing you have to be careful of is, someone's already tried to remove this shield before we got the coach. And they were doing pretty good, but then they got a little, little careless and they've got into their paint and did some damage. These videos are to help teach you to help not let this or any of these problems happen. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start right here on this gen door. We got our scraper already sanded the way we taught you in the first video. Our heat gun, I like it on setting one. And I stand about this far back and I just get behind the film and slowly just scrape. Just slowly scrape just like that. And then I've been doing this a long time. I can make passes like that, no problem. Now the film, here's the trick. When it starts to get real hot and gummy, that's when you're going too hot. But if I can hold it and do this, I'm keeping the temperature nice and even. This far back, scraper just like that, and just go nice and easy. This is not a race. We're not trying to get this done in an hour. If that happens like that, just drop it on the ground and just do little passes, nice and easy. Now if I get this too hot, you can see the difference now, it's real gummy, and that's what you don't want. Just nice and easy like this. Alright guys, we've successfully taken a test piece off here of the film. Now it's time to attack the glue. And one of the big differences with this 3M film like the Diamond Shield, we were able to use the Ugly Juice ready to use, but now we're getting into a thicker glue, a nastier glue, and it requires our Boost product. Ugly Boost needs to be added to Ugly Juice to help get off this thicker glue from 3M. So we already made a bottle of it. And how we go about it is this, we just spray a pretty good portion of adhesive remover, the Ugly Boost, just like that, and we're going to let it sit for a minute, let it in, get, get in the cracks and the crevices and soak into it. And I like to spray it kind of a lot actually, and then take our trusty scraper, and just like that you guys, you can start taking layers of glue off that easy. Now one of the tricks is, I want to work in the same area and let the chemical go down and keep softening the glue as we work. So I'll spray some more right here. Safe and smooth. That crunching sound is okay, it's not hurting the paint. We've successfully sharpened the tools with the sandpaper that we showed you in the videos. We're not hurting the paint. We're not hurting the clear or anything. And guys, in just a couple seconds, no paint damage, perfect paint. We've gone from the film to safely removing the glue, and then there's that beautiful paint job underneath. All right guys, just wanted to show you something kind of cool that's in the shop today. We got a Z06 Corvette, and I know you've been watching our videos all about RVs and everything related to motorhomes. 
but they even put it on cars too and we're helping this gentleman take it off his Corvette. So look for future videos on this later. All right guys, we went ahead and did the whole piece here and as you can see because of ugly boost for a 3M shield, it's required to get that thicker 3M glue off and by doing it the steps and the safe ways that we've gone about this, we have not hurt the paint, safely removed the film, all the glue, and there's your beautiful paint job. And that's the difference between 3M and Diamond Shield. Hope this helped you guys out. Thanks for watching. Check us out for more videos. Hit that like button. Please subscribe. Thanks a lot.